Hello again, Steve here. I was reminded of a an interesting quote by, of all people, Richard Dawkins. Uh, I suppose there's going to be at some point, maybe there is already, Dawkinisms. And I, I quite like it because it's it's unique, and it goes like this. That argument is so bad, it's not even wrong. Something like that, anyway. I, I like that because it's... It describes how so often we have the tendency to be just completely off base in response to ourselves and to support our concepts or ideas or in conversations with others. I mean, it's just like, it's another way of saying it's a, it's a false argument, it's not even an argument. Um, you know, and, and people who are religious, and to some extent I've been that way at times, uh, fall into this trap, I notice, with an argument in support of the validity of the Bible using the Bible. It's like trying to support a an old fable or an old story or a just a, um, a, a, a concoction of some sort from, from the viewpoint of somebody else by using that fable or concoction, you know, trying to trying to find support in it, alone. Um, or sometimes we use comparisons that are just not relevant, you know. Um, if I'm trying to explain to somebody the consistency of an apple, and I'm using the a banana or a orange as an example, um, it's not really a it's not really a strong argument. It's not really a, an argument. It's because it's it's completely different. Um, so it's it's not even wrong, because it's one thing to have a completely backwards argument. If I'm trying to explain what up is, and I'm actually explaining what is down, that is a wrong argument. It's clearly wrong. It's empirically wrong, right? But if I'm describing you know, the sides maybe. It's not even wrong because it's it's not even on the same plane. It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. It's not even on the. It's not a comparison. So uh, I think it's important for us to realize when our arguments are wrong, but also when they're not even arguments. When they're when they're not even wrong. So, to notice when they're not even right, but also to notice when they're not even wrong, because they're just completely, completely off base. And this helps us just get, get more clarity, I think. The more clarity we can have, the more honesty we can have, the more forthrightness we can have, the better. And the, and the result of that, once again, of this truth, of dedication to truth, dedication to honesty, which is basically virtue as I see it, Eventually, that leads to a quality of life we can call happiness or whatever contentment, content, um, contentment, um, satisfaction that we've done the right thing, the best that we can do at that moment. Hope this is helpful. Steve here again. Great chatting. We'll talk again.